Hello and welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here. Let's talk a little bit about calendula petals. How can you use calendula petals in order to assist in your health, wellness and, e and healing? So not only are they beautiful to look at and very vibrant, they have that strong orange, yellow, vibrant colors, but they're also very important to help in assisting in reducing skin inflammation. And there are a couple of ways that I would like you to um, use the calendula petals and that I've used them myself for both my own family family and my own skin health as well and if you've been watching me here on the channel you would know that I do suffer from very sensitive dry skin so I'm very careful when it comes to herbal remedies that are needed to apply externally I always focus on a specific um, uh, nourishing moisturizing herbs um, that I use for my skin so the petals you could use them to make an infusion and it's really amazing for helping to assist in reducing inflammation and specifically also when it comes to period pain another great way to use the petals is to make some lovely tincture or to use them as a pre made tincture um, when it comes to applying on the face I would uh, opt for uh, the calendula petal cream lotion of which you can do it yourself or you can simply um, opt to purchase that already done or you can even use a compress so make yourself some strong infusion using the petals and boiling water then take yourself a pad soaked in the infusion apply it to any sort of wounds, any sort of inflammation, any sort of dry area, it would really help with that as well. Also, making an infused oil with the petals would be amazing because they're really great for any sort of uh, dry sensitive skin as well, helping to give the sticking the moisture and the nutrition that it needs. So these were the ways that I use calendula petals. Now just before we end the video, let's just discuss a little bit more about um, uh, making sure that you properly identify uh, this plant because uh, especially when you are harvesting it or when you are um, kind of finding it on the roads you really want to be careful to make sure you identify it correctly because it can be con confused with other related species and other types of flowers as well also please might be mindful not to use the calendula that you find planted um, uh, around the roads or you know in uh, specific areas that are exposed to pollutants and that are exposed to chemicals and pesticides and fungicides because that's the last thing you want to be putting inside your body and on your skin as well so we've come towards the end of our video today if you enjoyed today's content please like share and subscribe i'd love to have you on board